And leading our news right now, a story out of Laurel County, where a man is accused of shooting and killing a dog. The suspect reportedly had trapped the animal in his yard, and his home is right next door to a daycare center. WKYT's Mark Barber is tracking the situation, and he joins us now with our top story at 1230. Mark. Neighbors say Robert Shable's yard is a minefield of hunting traps. They tell me that the traps here are not the cages that will close behind an animal. Instead, they say they clamp over an animal's leg. However, neighbors here aren't worried so much about the animals as they are children because a daycare sits right next door. When you're driving by this house on US 25 in Lily, if you blink, you'll miss the signs. But those who live next door say there's no escaping them. Signs warning of live traps dot the yard, and behind the home, they lead to rabbit hutches. Neighbors say Shable used his rabbits as live bait to lure dogs that would roam the neighborhood. According to an arrest citation, three weeks ago, Shable trapped one, and while the dog was howling, shot and killed it. We're told the 35 year old killed the dog, even though a neighbor offered to take it to a vet. Shable was arrested yesterday and charged with second degree animal cruelty and second degree wanton endangerment. Waiting for the case to move through court, parents and daycare employees still have concerns. They're talking about the case, but they don't want to go on camera yet. They're not happy with what's going on, um, and their concern is their children. Shable will make his first court appearance tomorrow morning. He did not want to talk to us about the case from the detention center. In Laurel County, Mark Barber, WKYT.